everybody's doing good. Um, whew, didn't really want to make a video this week, but uh, got a lot of downtime this weekend, so I'll go ahead and make one. Uh, it's been a an interesting week to say the least. Uh, seemed like it's been three weeks packed into one. Uh, started out uh, as planned and the way I had planned the week I was uh, getting a loadout trailer uh, first thing Monday morning and then I was going to do two loads with it and then de deliver the trailer in California on Thursday morning. Um, should have been uh, grossing around $6,500 with the two loads and delivering the trailer. Uh, started out as planned and then uh, Wednesday morning uh, a lady decided to uh, change my plans for me she um, she was coming from the opposite direction we were on a two-lane road and she came over the the middle line and so I slowed down and moved over there wasn't much of a shoulder so I moved over to the shoulder and she came over again all the way into my lane and uh, so I, I went off road and she barely missed the cab of my truck maybe by not even inches maybe by an inch and went down uh, impacted my trailer went down knocked the tires off and bent the rims as I'll show you a picture here but uh, uh, went on to hit the truck that was traveling behind me and uh, he, he was fully loaded he flipped over and she uh, went flipping across the road and landed on the other side of the highway and so uh, yeah we're out in the middle of nowhere too so it, it uh, it wasn't a, a pretty scene, but uh, thankfully, myself and the other driver in particular uh, walked away from it. So, got past that, got the, the truck fixed, uh, had to cancel my second load with that loadout trailer, and so I just... Uh, what just wasn't wasn't up to doing another flatbed load and so I just wanted to deliver that trailer and uh, just try to get a, a power only trailer or, or get back to the house so uh, when I delivered that trailer I ended up picking up a, um, a power only load that I only had to uh, to hook up to and, and tow out I thought so I get to about a hundred miles an hour uh, hundred miles about a hundred miles away with that uh, power only load and the brakes locked up on it and uh, so I was stuck on the side of Highway 80 in Sacramento I called the agent and her response was uh, can't you just get AAA out so I knew at that point this was not going to be fun so I told her she needed to uh, get with somebody and they needed to arrange some, a way to get a mechanic out there and work on the trailer. Um, now this was a gooseneck trailer and uh, I hooked up my airlines to it. They told me it was air brakes. And so I was assuming it was, it was air brakes. I didn't crawl up underneath it or anything. And so um, after about an hour of going back and forth with the agent I just ended up calling the the people who own the trailer directly since they wouldn't do it and they were literally less help than the agent they uh, they wanted me to do a Google search for mechanics that's basically their help and so when I hung up on the guy he sent me actually texted me a picture of a Google search he did for mechanics. That's that's his uh, form of help. But anyway, uh, got a mechanic out there, and 
he started to work on the brakes and came back to the truck and told me he didn't know how to fix them. And I, I specifically told the guy, you know, what was going on. And he said, well, they're not air brakes. And I said, well, what are they? And uh, he said, they're air over hydraulic. And um, I've worked quite a bit with hydraulics, pneumatics too, but um, uh, just didn't want to mess with the air brakes. There uh, can be a, a lot of labor involved there. But when he said they were air over hydraulics, uh, light bulb went off in my head. Um, if you know anything about hydraulic brakes, they're just like brakes on a regular passenger car. If you're not applying pressure, you have no brakes. So, uh, I knew that uh, if I let the air off, uh, that the, the brakes wouldn't be applied. So I went back and disconnected. There was an air tank on there. And I actually found like what looked like a, a master cylinder on your car. And I released the, the air uh, line from that master cylinder. And as soon as I did, the brakes released and uh, was able to get down the road a little bit. So um, that was uh, Friday at five o'clock in Sacramento. So uh, there wasn't getting, uh, you know, getting another mechanic out there or getting it fixed until Monday. So, um, so now I'm parked up and uh, trying to a little stove up having some little bit of back spasms but uh, just trying to get a little rest before I uh, make this next leg and, and uh, deliver this trailer and try to get home for a few days but that that's the week in a nutshell sometimes well most of the time it doesn't go as planned and uh, you, uh, you just have to take it as it comes you know um, I could have got, <laughs> I, well, I did get angry, upset, impatient because they didn't want to fix their own trailer. Um, and I, I, you know, I could have blowed up at somebody, but um, I realized that uh, Lord just let me walk away from a, what could have been a bad situation just a couple of days before. So, um, just thankful to be here you know so we'll uh i probably won't make a video for a few days so we'll see y'all next time